What's up everybody, Matt from AC Hamilton here and today I'm going to be talking to you about the DW9000 series hi-hat twin braced stand. Okay, now the special thing about this hi-hat stand is the fact that it is, as I said, twin braced. Okay, it's only got two legs. Now that's very important for a number of reasons. Okay, primarily it's because when you are setting up to play a show, if you have a a triple ba a triple braced hi hat stand, sometimes that leg, that third leg, hat can get in the way. For all of you tripod enthusiasts out there, this does come in the three legged base. Just so you know, so don't don't go all funny on me with that. This is the twin the twin based version, but sometimes that third leg can get in the way of your extra, you know, if you have an extra pedal for extra hi-hats, let's say, or an extra or an extra bass drum pedal or something like that, it can just get in the way. And that completely cuts that problem out. And it means that you can get your second pedal really nice and close to this hi-hat pedal, okay? Now I'm gonna run you through some of the features of this pedal, okay? If you look, it's got what's called double eccentric cam. Now what that means is, it's got two chains here and here, okay? Now this means when you are playing, it's much more sensitive to where, to, to where your foot is, to where, how you are playing. So when you press down, it instantly goes, okay? And that's very important to some people because sometimes hi-hat stands can be a bit lazy, especially when you, you know, if you're trying to do foot ostinatos or something like that, it can be a bit lazy and hard to play. So this is a really, really good feature for that. It's also got what's called a locking mechanism for the bottom here. Now what that does is basically you you unlock this little this little nut here and you'll twist this and basically that moves the pedal slightly up or slightly down and that offsets offsets the weight of of your top symbol. So that kind of changes the way it feels and the way that it and the way the way that you play. Okay. Moving up, you know, you've obviously you've got your your regular your regular nuts here, which control the legs, how they fall flat. You've got your nut here, which controls this little this little pole here, which goes higher or lower, depending on where you want it. Now this little thing here, this little nut, controls where your bottom, your bottom hi-hat is, okay? So, depending on where you twist it, it'll offset the weight of your bottom hi-hat, and it'll offset the weight of where that's positioned, allowing, again, different feel. If you want it, if you want that proper level to the top hi-hat, you can have it like that. If you want it slightly offset to get a bit more of a, 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 um, of a, scra a scratchy sort of sound on your hi-hats, then it can do that, okay? It also comes with this, this handy little clutch here, okay? Now this is a very, very good clutch, primarily because of this here, okay? Now, I don't know about you, but I've been in situations before where I've been playing a show or something like that, and the bottom of my clutch has unscrewed itself, and my hi-hat has just basically just fallen flat. So I've got no hi-hat really anymore. I've got no control over where my hi-hat is. This basically, this stops that. So what you do is, get my little drum key out. What you do is you unscrew this nut here, okay? So unscrew that, twist it off. Twist it off, take that off. Put your hi-hat on, twist it back up, twist it back up, and then what you do, you lock this, okay? Screw this all the way in, and that locks that hi-hat clutch into place. So your hi-hat now is not going to unscrew itself because it's completely just locked into place. Okay, so put that back there when it's ready. 
So this comes with a variety of poles, okay? Now, it comes with either, which is this little bit here. The pole here is this little bit here, which is what your hi-hat your hi -hat symbol will sit on. Okay, it comes with a variety, two, two, two different poles, okay? 21 inch watt pole, or a 15 inch pole, okay? And that kind of suits to where you might want this to go. Some people like it shorter so they can have other things over the top of it. Some people like it longer so they can have more variety of where the hi-hat stand will go, okay? Now it's very, now this hi-hat stand is very, very sensitive. It's very, very good, it's very smooth. Like I say, if you want to do foot ostinatos or if you're doing just kind of like the, uh, the foot click with, you know, if you're keeping tempo with your left foot and you're doing something else, really good for that. Feels fantastic to play. It's just an all-round, really, really good high-end hi-hat stand. And that's all I have to say about this product. I've been Matt from AC Hamilton, and I hope you tune in again soon for more reviews. And I will see you all very, very soon.